Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an interesting algebraic expression, or we're going to evaluate it based upon another equation. So we have x plus 1 over y equals 3 times y plus 1 over x, and we're supposed to evaluate the second expression. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first expression first. So we have x plus 1 over y equals 3 times y plus 1 over x. I mean, needless to say here, x and y cannot be 0 because that will make the expressions undefined. So x does not equal 0, y does not equal 0. And their product should probably not be equal to 0 because if they're not 0, their product won't be 0 either. Right? Okay. So now, what can I do with this? Well, um, this doesn't look like a nice equation where I can put everything on the same side and factor. Or if I square both sides, it's not going to help. But I can just make a common denominator, at least, right? That's what I can do. So let's make a common denominator and see what happens. So from here, and I should also say another thing, xy plus uh, xy does not equal negative 1. And what is that supposed to mean? It means the product is not equal to negative 1. What happens if xy is equal to negative 1? We'll explore that later. Anyways, um, let's make a common denominator. xy plus 1 over y equals maybe that is possible I'm thinking about it right now okay so we get the following so obviously xy plus 1 equals 0 is a possible solution so I, I guess we shouldn't disregard that so let's do the following first of all when you see an equation like this you see xy plus 1 on both sides so you can do the following you can take everything on the same side and like this That's a 0. Okay. And then take out xy plus 1. And you're going to get 1 over y plus 3 over x equals 0. I know it doesn't look that nice, but from here we get two solutions. xy plus 1 equals 0. And xy becomes negative 1. And y becomes negative 1 over x. So you could go ahead and plug it into the original equation. What is the original equation? The expression. The second one x squared plus y squared plus xy divided by x squared minus y squared minus xy. Let's go ahead and replace y with negative 1 over x, x squared plus 1 over x squared. If you replace y with negative 1 over x, you're going to get minus 1 over x squared. And here x squared minus 1 over x squared plus, because this is going to become a negative, so double negation is going to give us the following. And then they're going to cancel out and we're going to end up with 1. Okay, so the expression will turn into 1 if xy is equal to negative 1. So that's one numerical value we can find. If you exclude it, then you're going to end up with the other value. All right, so I can also tell you that at this point you could do the following. You can look at it like, hey, this can be 0. In that case, um, these two are going to be equal because 0 equals 0. And then eliminate it, like fact... Um, cancel it out, and then you're going to get a my, much nicer expression. Anyways, let's work with this. 1 over y minus 3 over x equals 0. And then from here, we're going to get 1 over y equals 3 over x. Cross multiply, you get x equals 3y. That was the whole purpose, actually, to turn this into a ratio problem. So the original expression gave us two things. Uh, one of them is y equals negative 1 over x, in which case our expression is going to equal 1 or x equals 3y. And let's see what this uh, takes us to. So our expression, the second one, is x squared plus y squared plus xy divided by x squared minus y squared minus xy. So here's one thing that you can do, very simple. Replace x with 3y, okay? x with 3y. Let's go ahead and do it everywhere. You know, everywhere you see an x, do it. So this is going to be like 3y squared plus y squared plus 3y times y divided by 3y squared minus y squared minus 3y times y. And let's see what this becomes. This is 9y squared plus y squared plus 3y squared divided by 9y squared minus y squared minus 3y squared. This is going to be 9 plus 1, 10. 10 plus 3 is 13y squared. And then 9 minus 1 is 8. 8 minus 3 is 5. That is 5y squared. And the answer is going to be 
13 over 5 as long as y does not equal 0 and we know that it is not equal to 0 so our expression in this case when x y does not equal negative 1 is going to equal the numerical value 13 over 5 okay make sense all right great so there are two possible values and let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, the graph but this is kind of like an interesting graph because you can solve for y or you can solve for x. Maybe you can. I don't know. I haven't tried it. But uh, it's kind of like a relation. All right. And when you look at it this way, it kind of makes sense. Right. Uh, depending on our results. Because you do see the hyperbola with two branches. And you do see a linear function that goes through the origin. Now, why is that happening? Because if you go back to our results, we got x equals 3y. Right. So let's go ahead and write it down here x equals 3y. In other words, y equals one-third of x. So that kind of tells you why the slope of this line is one-third. You can tell hopefully from here. And that is the linear piece. And the other piece, the hyperbolic piece, comes from the fact that y equals negative one over x. And as you can see, those are going to appear in the second and the fourth quadrant. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. I think this will be the last for the day, Saturdays and Sundays, three videos from now on, hopefully, if I can manage it. And until next time, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.